All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Trigun, Trigun Stampede, Stampede episode, episode four. four. All right. Last episode. Last episode just happened. Happened, yeah. Destruction. Mm -hmm. Just complete and total chaos. On a ridiculous scale. A, 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 like, to the point where... Unheard of scale. You, yes. you almost want to laugh because it's just so overwhelming. Maniacally. And like, well, sure. Yeah, I was more thinking like the, you know... Uh, mentally broken, dark laughter, that's all you can do because it's so messed up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, hey, Vash is now actually going after Knives. You know, he's going to it's July. True. So, all right, mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that will go better than your last confrontation. You yeah, know? at the very least, if he's going to July where there's probably going to be other people who he can, I don't know, yeah. connect with and or bring, you know, kind or, of... Have, into the fold? Yeah, or, or have something of Knives that he can attack that isn't Knives himself. So he doesn't right? have to, you know, forego his... Well, yeah, do whatever, you know, third eye opening, you yeah. know, stuff, or or uh, managing to land a bullet on him when he can just, you know, slice them out of the air. Right, right. Yeah. So, y yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Ooh. Is that meat? Hmm. I think it is very nicely marbling. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hey! Nice. nice. Getting to meet a uh, familiar character, maybe? Because, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going to deal with knives, you need some more firepower. <laughs> and maybe some Deus Volt. Oh, cool, cool. Right. Ah, okay, okay. Little time skip. Yeah. He's been wandering the wastelands without a vehicle. Yeah, you this is like the best day of his, of his life. <laughs> gotta love well, that radio exposition to let them know you guys are fucked. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I mean, hey, you know, nobody knows any details about them, so... <laughs> the weather... It's a side of Sandy and Sunny mm -hmm. with a uh, oh, main dish of Sandy and Sunny. That's a good looking sandwich. Uh -huh. Whoa. Oh. Never mind. Maybe weather can be very different. That's uh -oh. not sand. Oh. Oh, okay. worm like like huh. spores or like released like eggs Protein? or something. Okay. Oh, shit. Just turn! Oh! Ah! <laughs> well, Vash is awake. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah, god, we killed dead. him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now they're four, uh -huh. so they won't be as uh, immediately, uh, you know, obvious. Right. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love the expressions in this show. <laughs> Those, the expressions are the best. Yeah, oh, yeah, stop by a 7-Eleven and see if they have a first aid kit. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> Watch. He's the one that killed them. <laughs> They're bringing him back to the <laughs> scene of the crime. Oh, shit. Someone hid in the locker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Either they did it or they know what happened. Mash is like, I'm great with people. One second. Yeah. No, we're, that's what the fishies, the fishies got me, you know. Oh, It's a kid. Oh, wait. I think... I recognize this voice actor. Damn it, who is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, and it actually landed. Yeah. Is it Reiner from Attack on Titan? Maybe? No, it's not. Don't touch it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
It's my saving grace. Hmm. Is it now? Yeah. Is it now? Oh. Oh shit. No, it's a worm. Oh, is the whole thing gonna be eaten? Oh. Oh, run, 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 run. Uh. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. All right, Pinocchio. Good luck. Oh my god. I love it. We are inside a big ass fucking dune worm now. Yup. Kamisama, Kamisama, please. <laughs> ah! Rest in peace, the vehicle. I mean, like. Yeah. Hope you had insurance. Oh. Yep, you were slowly fed on. Okay. So if we give it a jolt from the battery in the vehicle, maybe? Hmm? Could fuck with it? Oh, sick. Hmm. <laughs> Not happening. Needle noggin. <laughs> Uncle Downer. He's like, I like that name. <laughs> that's that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turns around. Then, no, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, it's a kid. Okay, okay. Shit. All right. So maybe it's like paralyzing them or something. Something. <laughs> Good protein. Yeah. Oh, I ain't gonna know who you okay. are. Whoa. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now nah, he can kill, but maybe not with a smile, you know. Yeah. Uh. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's what they're breathing, you know. Sure. Oh, well, this Shit. is an opportunity. Surfaced. Yeah. Oh my god! Alright. So maybe it's just been spitting them out. Sure. Oh, these guys! Yeah. <laughs> it's coming back! Uh oh. I love these guys just yeah. randomly being the peanut gallery. For no, them. you crazy son of a bitch, get out of there! Holy shit, the scale. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hey. Oh, so maybe this kid is, the, is one that can control worms. Oh. He sounds like a Yakuza character. Yeah, he does, yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, but his gait, potentially. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. Whoa. Well, shit. Fun. Oh, gross. Yo. 
All right, it's time. Yeah. Bring it out. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. It looks yeah. so good in 3D. Uh-huh. I take care of the dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're doing that, huh? You know, maybe they can take on knives. These three guys are just casually yeah. watching. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, among other things. Among many other things. <laughs> Actually eating! <laughs> yeah! Right. Needle noggin, yep. Of course. Hey, yeah, yeah. And also, you guys have, you know, a means of travel. Yeah, we have the vehicle, right? Hmm? Whoa. <laughs> I mean, you knew that. That's yeah. It's exactly yeah. Oh, the kid. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Fun. Mm. Fun. Alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa, fun. Okay. Fun. All right. Let's okay. see our art for this episode. Oh! Ooh. Nice. Oh! That's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Ah, okay. okay. So we've got our cross gunman mm -hmm. from, the, yep. from the original series. And He's here. I love that just the whole thing is a gun. Like mm -hmm. that, and and that each side is also a different gun. Like yes, mm -hmm. awesome, right? Because then we can I, just. I vaguely remember him, mm -hmm. like vaguely. I, I but I don't remember like anything about him story wise, other than just the iconic cross. Yeah, me either. Like I think yeah. I think in the original series it might have been like rows of like pistols that were inside it or something like that. But I mean, um, once I saw it, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be the coolest gun ever. Oh like, yeah, like, absolutely. Right. Like, yeah. like Oh, we just got the 3D. Just gigantic machine gun. Right, right. But also just the ability to then describe visually with 3D something that's mechanical mm -hmm. in that way. When oh, we yes. saw in the previous episodes the tooth locking, like rolling barrel roll, you know, yep, all vehicle of that stuff. and all that stuff. This is right up there with that. Mm -hmm. Probably, Probably my favorite parts visually about this show are the mechanical things that they then show the exact like intricate details of yeah when when you so freaking cool when you've got something that is like in my opinion better in 3d mm -hmm. than in 2d with what you're trying to portray right yeah it, it really just can can look That's so good really special yeah but hey he's with the crew he's a potential double crossing you right. know person with zazi the beast because okay, if you're cool. after a bounty that big you know you yep. got to be careful absolutely but at the same time mm -hmm. hey are we making a squad that could then go up against nye maybe maybe possibly say? Yeah. I, I love that uh this wolfwood guy he kind of doesn't get vash and I like that that's probably what makes him so hesitant to just grab him and be done with this. Right, because he knows he's dangerous and stuff, so it's the, okay, what's the But what's why the are you here? dangerous? Right. So I think what makes him so hesitant is that he's 
realizing that Vash and him are actually very similar. What makes, hmm. you know, Wolfwood dangerous is not what's on the surface. You don't know immediately uh, why right. he's dangerous. Exactly. So he respects yes. the idea that Vash is like, there could be something that I'm not seeing. And yet, and yet the thing is, is that the, what he's not seeing is something that Vash is actively in opposition of. Yeah. So as opposed to with him, where it's the, um, I look like a peaceful person, mm -hmm. you know, and oh, hey, I actually am rocking like the biggest gun potentially that we've seen in the show yeah, thus the far. The most powerful right? weapon we've seen other than knives, knives basically. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know, like to the point where it's like, oh, okay, maybe that laser could actually do something against him, right? Right, right. You know, he bisected an entire fully grown yeah, grand like that's, worm okay. like it was casual. Like yep. it was just a Tuesday. Right. Like that's how do you charge that thing? How do you maintain yeah, that thing? That that, that, that is, is actually nuts. insane. Yeah. And Vash doesn't have something like that, right? Like, yeah. yes, he has his gate thing that he could theoretically unlock and get all this power and stuff, but he isn't doing that. And so while they're both incredibly similar, mm -hmm. they're also at the same time polar opposites. Right. And exactly. so that'll make for fun banter with them as, you know, you've got the the guy who's like, yes, obviously I rock the biggest gun possible because mm -hmm. why would I do anything different in, in this, this world? crazy world. Yeah, yes. you need that, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas Vash is like, but I don't want to kill things. This guy's just like, what, are, who are you the delusional? Fuck do you think like, you are? Yeah, yeah, right. Like, what makes you think you'll actually be able to get by with that kind of, you know, he's idealistic like, outlook? Well, I, I mean, I, I, I've been okay so far. <laughs> you know, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> right. Yeah. I think it's that point as well. It's that um, when he went to go back into the worm, this guy came with him. Now, obviously, that's, that's kind of the point where, you know, we should have been questioning why he went with him because mm -hmm. it's the, ah, right, he's here for the bounty. He yeah. specifically he doesn't want to let here. the bounty get away. So. Yes, yeah. so he's like, I am absolutely going to stick by you even though it defies all my right. code and also, like, in every way whatsoever. And also his partner is inside, which granted, he might not care enough about them, no, I, but it's the, you know... There might be an opportunity. Who knows? No, I I, I think this is entirely a thing of where uh, Nicholas was like, cool, we didn't need them. They're just there to basically set uh -huh. up a situation where we could end up, you know, having me come alongside them. Right. Now I have his trust. I can... I've even isolated him, so this might actually be right. easy. And I can just meet up with Zazie at any point. So the actual mm -hmm. point where he went back in was where Nicholas was like, fuck, that, there goes the whole plan. Right. Motherfucker's just going to jump back in and I'm going to have to risk my life again because Zazie is, you know, controlling mm -hmm. this thing, but he's going to have to still actively pretend to be an enemy. Right. Shit. And so... So I'm going to have to whip out my gun. Right. Well, to all basically right, whatever. Save, Here we go. Save everybody so that then we can get him later. Yeah. And yet, you know, there's that part of me that's like, okay, but is that actually a point where he realizes that Vash is... Um, Different. Yeah, right. That it's not Something just special. It's not just blustering talk, yeah. right? To say you don't want to hurt anybody when you're in a situation where you're not actively in danger, that's one that thing. That is one thing, exactly. To go, willingly go back into a suicidal level of danger mm -hmm. when you're also saying, but I'm not going to kill anybody or hurt anybody, right? Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a, I am a pacifist, and yet I'm going to jump back into this worm. Into the maw, literally. What, what, you know? what is wrong with you, right. you know? And that's the part that's fun here, is that if Nicholas Wolfwood's thing is that he's betrayed people tons of times, he's mm -hmm. actually uh, he's got right. no soul with regards to yep. ethics or issues uh, with killing whoever he wants. In fact, friends are preferred, because right. they don't see it coming. Yeah. yeah, this is the first time where he's potentially questioning on the slightest level, Maybe, maybe we're not going to jump the gun, if you will. Right. Uh, for and this yet, one. And yet, at the same time, you know, because he like, assuming we're correct about his general philosophy, because there mm -hmm. was a lot of it that was obfuscation and like, you know, uh, yeah, I'm he's I'm presenting. Part. Yeah, he's presenting a side of himself. Yeah. Um. This could also be a thing where maybe the way in which he has to, like, be convinced mm -hmm. to to all right, we'll be Nakama after all is, all right, we need to throw down in epic fashion. And then I when I realize why that, you're so dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I have to know. I'm and curious. Then it, yeah. And then at that point when I realized, no, you do have the, the chops to back it up and you're still choosing not to. Okay, okay. now I might be able to take that seriously, because, right? Because I think that's the other thing is that what makes this guy so interesting mm -hmm. is that clearly 
he has nothing to fear in this world. Right. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. He's figured it out, mm -hmm. but he's alone. Zazie doesn't seem like a friend, honestly. Zazie seems like someone that would never sure. necessarily be friends with him at all. Mm -hmm. If anything, Zazie is probably keeping things at arm's length because he's a friend killer, because he's somebody oh, yeah. that actually would be dangerous to I him. I wouldn't be surprised if the way that this happened was more like a thing of opportunity. Yeah. Where it's, yeah, we both know that we're going to be, you know, maybe yeah. best hunter win, you know, right. but and also then we the, run into each other and... Right, best hmm. hunter kind of thing, but also I think Zazie's thing very clearly is information gathering. You can sure. have somebody that could use their network of connection to basically find Vash very quickly. Yeah. And so it's the, okay, cool. So then what I'll do is I'll be the bait here because he's in this region mm -hmm. and I'll give him a reason to basically get out of the vehicle come to this specific section right. here, sit in here, and the then... The terrain is so harsh that, like... Yeah. You know, if you see, a, like, a, a potential checkpoint or rest stop, yeah, you're going to go there and, you know, look right. for supplies or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then we can we can meet up that way. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, the, the way in which they brought us these two uh, characters mm -hmm. together was a, a little bit convenient, but... With a show that's this fast paced as far as like bringing us through these episodic kind of mini adventures and just like, cool, cool. They're in, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Nicholas is, Wolfwood's in the party now. Yep. Um, we're, you know, on our way to July. We might get there within an episode or two. Yep. Um, I, I very much like that we're setting up all the questions immediately within this episode rather than having them be mm. like open-ended, you know, kind of. Right. Uh, potential mysteries. Yeah, um, because we're not gonna we're we're not messing around. We got places to be, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, and this we'll show definitely coming. wants us to get to that level where we are talking more succinctly about gates and higher dimensions and right. crazy stuff like that. That bit with so, Nye didn't need to be in this episode, no. and yet it's the hey, we introduced him like you know he had his grand entrance just mm -hmm. in the previous one. We're not going to let that tension go away or, yeah. or maybe if the ten even if the tension goes away you're not going to forget about him yeah. right he's not going to go fully into the into the background you know right. he'll always be there um because that's yes. the main direction for the story and we also now have a mechanical reason as to why they haven't killed vash yet there's an element of his gate that has some benefit to their plan which mm -hmm. is that if he's not going to unlock it that kind of fucking sucks for them right and yet because of the fact that he's using um his ethics and his code and his morality to basically protect himself mm -hmm. from that yeah. inner power or whatever that is um that's something that might force their hand to have to you know basically turn him into a violent person right. and hence and, hence the reasons why they're toying with him it's not just because of mm -hmm. a of a petty thing of, oh, you think differently, you know, holier right. than thou much. That might it's, be part of it from the emotional standpoint right, of the brother. The brother, right. but then also, oh, hey, no, but we do actually have a vested interest mechanically mm -hmm. in making sure that we break you. Yeah. So putting him into these situations where he could lose touch with humanity and become mm -hmm. a violent person is actively part of their goals as right. well. The, the, uh, it's the war for Vash's soul. The emotional state of the character is is directly in, integral to the plot. Yeah. Right. Which is fun for, a again, a fast-paced narrative where you're really yeah. trying to make the focus of the themes like overt and mm -hmm. on the nose. Like, well, that is what this is all about. And usually when I think of, like, stories where you can get that, mm -hmm. that's in, like, the dramas or the romances or something like that, where, right. where it's more obvious of why inherently it's about the emotional state of the characters, whereas in this case, no, 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 no. We're tying it to the actual world building, world building, yeah. and, and like power system yep. of the main antagonist and the protagonist, which is cool because awesome. then in some ways the antagonist is inviting their own potential destruction by turning Vash into sure. a person that could be on equal footing with him. Because mm -hmm. we spent the last episode pointing out how they not are not <laughs> equal <laughs> yeah. footing they are in. Right. So, uh, uh huh. Cool, cool stuff. The uh, the the setup is fun. And having that setup done so quickly, immediately after effectively the first arc's conclusion, means that we're you know we're 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 going we're we're chugging right or right along with getting us into the next stage of the conflict before yes. um, we have another confrontation with our twins. Also, I just realized something with how the episode went down, and the reporter guy being like, "Hey, 
I know my shit. You know, you can't mm-hmm. trust this person, yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. That was straight up like an Among Us lobby thing where they're like, no, this person's sus, here's why. And then the other person that's like, yep. no, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, ha, ha, it was me. You know, <laughs> like, I will reveal myself, you know. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Like, <laughs> I loved how right he was on like every like mm-hmm. instance of it, and in a lot of ways, Uncle Downer, which I I love that name. Oh, I yeah. love that name. He just he just gave them all nicknames off mm-hmm. the bat. Is actually like still looking at him with that like I'm not just kind of you know just gonna buddy buddy with you just because of this. Right. He very much had that standoffish thing like away from the campfire. I've been in this job a long time. Right. You don't get to where I am without. Right. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. probably thinking about the convenience of, oh, we did hit you with our vehicle, and you didn't take, like, any damage no, yeah. from that. <laughs> yeah. Then, two, you're also the only way in which we got out of this situation. Well, and yes. And, three, you are such a self-serving son of a bitch. Why did you mm-hmm. go back in to the Maw with Vash? Right. That feels odd. But mm-hmm. The real question is... How the fuck is the car okay? <laughs> like, that would have been really funny if it was like... What are you like talking a- about? It wasn't digested because the worm doesn't want to digest that. Right. So when they bisected the worm, the car just wasn't in that literal line that right. got bisected. And so the, it just kind of fell out. In the, you know? in the 60 foot drop or whatever to land into there, it was sand. So, you know, sand. So yeah, it just it's, boom, 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 it bounces. Right. You know? Exactly. You and know? I mean, it's worm flesh, so it's probably not like, you know... Not you know, damaged at all. you know? It's... Well, right. There was just that part of me that was like, okay, this would be really funny if the, yeah, they become, you know, like before I knew that, okay, the, it's a double cross thing mm-hmm. set up, whatever. Yeah. Just the idea of you meet these people and the whole thing is brought up of like, wait, who's the, the leader here exactly? Who's paying who? Right, right. No, th- they're following you because <laughs> you guys have the car. You're in the desert, right? That's the most valuable thing here. I can't believe that hasn't been brought up. Like... And I was waiting for the like, Okay, no, now we actually are following them because, shit, we don't have a car. We do not have so, a car, yeah. So we are all stuck together at least until we get to the next civilization, you know? Like, that that place, everybody was dead at the place that we stopped at, you know? Right, so, right. like, yep. all right, yep. let's, no. you know. Car is still here. Let me let me go find it in the in the footage here. Yeah, there yeah. it is. It's just it's just chilling. This thing, old Bessie. It, yeah, that's it's, right. It's not, it's not, it's got, it's a... Uh, it's it's not about to quit. You think times. You think we weren't prepared to be digested by a giant sandworm and have our vehicle fall, you know, super far? No, no, no. Shoot, the fucking like yeah. radar dish antenna <laughs> yeah. thing is still That's, like huh. fine as well. <laughs> yeah, like if it because that was that was another thing. You could have had it be like a point of comedy of like radar dish. No, that's fucked. The rest of it, it's perfectly it's in- maintained. Yeah. Or or like it's banged to shit, but it's still like you know. Watch the very next episode in the beginning. They'll drive like two miles and, and then, then they'll just <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, well, shit. <laughs> All right. I mean, they did spend actual time in this episode showing that they needed to charge it. That's so true. maybe the charging. Is what used it's like in the it force field. It has self-repair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The, the car uh, is actually the most advanced bit of technology <laughs> in this show. <laughs> oh, yeah. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you get on early access there. You watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So, yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.